morning everyone happy sunday i cannot believe it's already september um, and we will be starting a new quarter this week and we'll be studying about god's family we'll be learning about god's love and his promises as we hear about his special families we'll be studying the first book of the bible book of genesis and we'll be hearing about a lot of special families I hope you're so excited to hear more and learn more about God. First, let's get ready for worship as we start with the countdown. Let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's pray together. Dear God, you are so good and wonderful and we thank you for taking care of us through another week and for bringing us together to worship you this morning. Help us to worship you with joyful hearts and give us listening ears and understanding as we learn more about your love for your people this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good news, good news. Come and sit and listen to God's Word, to God's Word. Good news, good news. Come and sit and listen to God's Word, to God's Word. We need to be quiet and listen with our ears. Today's story comes from the Bible. The Bible is God's true word. The Bible is God's message to us. Today, we are starting at the beginning of the Bible. Today's story comes from Genesis chapter 1. And Genesis is the first book of the Bible. 
before you or your brother or sister were born and before your mommy and daddy were born even before grandma and grandpa were born even before there were animals flowers and trees or sun or moon before there was a world God was there there was nothing but God nothing God made all things can we all say that together God made all things our God is powerful our God is strong and our God is loving our God can do anything. Did he take a big spoon and stir up dirt and flour? No. Did God use Play-Doh to make everything? No, that sounds too silly. There was nothing, nothing. It was very dark. And God spoke, and he said, Let there be light. And it happened. God was pleased. He said, It is good. Can you say, It is good? Ready? It is good. And that was day one. Then God said, Let's put the sky here and the water there. And it happened just like God said. God liked it. And he said, it is good. That was day two. The next day, God rolled back the waters and some dry ground appeared. God also said, let's make plants, trees, flowers, and bushes appear. And it happened. And God said, it is good. That was day three. God made still more. Let's make lights in the sky so we can know when it's daytime and nighttime. And it happened. God made the sun, moon, and stars. And what do you think God said? That's right. God said it is good. And this was day four. The next day, God said, let's fill the water with all kinds of fish and the sky with all kinds of birds. And I want them to have lots of lots of babies so the world will be full of fish and birds. And it happened. God said, let's all say it together, it is good. That was day five. God made even more. Let the land be filled with animals. And it happened. And God said, it is good. What a beautiful world God made. God made a home to please himself and someone else. Next week, you will find out who lived in the home that God made. Let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's pray together. Dear God, you are strong and powerful. There's nothing you cannot do. 
Thank you for making the beautiful world and thank you for making us and taking care of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God didn't use anything to create the world. He only spoke and he created all things just by speaking. Isn't he so powerful and awesome? He didn't only make all things, but he also takes care of all things too. Who made the beautiful world? That's right. It was our God-loving Father. The next song is a new song to us, but it's a good song for us to remind us who created all things. Are you ready to praise Him? Who made ocean? One, two, this is true. First, we're going to start with Teacher Billy, and we're all going to point to Teacher Billy. And when Teacher Grace and Teacher Young points at you, you say your name. If you have brother or sister, you could also point on your brother or sister and say their name too. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves Teacher Billy. One, two, this is true. God loves me and God loves. One, 
to this is true. God loves me and God loves Today we have new memory verse. It's from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1 is the first verse of the Bible. And so we start Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. And it says, in the beginning, this is a sign language for beginning. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Earth is round, right? So we're going to do earth like this, okay? So it goes Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the the earth. One more time. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Starting this week, we will be going over catechism questions. Um, for most of you, this will be a review, but because we do have few new students, we are going to start from question one. Are you ready? Who made you? God. Who made you? God. What else did God make? God made all things. What else did God make? God made all things. Now, let's put our hands together and close our eyes and bow our head and let's sing the Lord's Prayer. Isn't our God so awesome? 
I pray that you'll continue to learn more about him and also praise him throughout the week until we see each other next week. Have a wonderful week. Bye.